Yeah, uh, my understanding is Utah uh, is in the process of working through uh, legislation that would provide for a guest worker program in Utah. And I understand that, that there's some concern that this uh, conflicts uh, constitutionally. Uh, and so the feds may, uh, uh, federal courts may strike this, strike this down. But the bottom line is, is Congress is unwilling to tackle the immigration issue. Uh, there's no political will in Washington to deal with the immigration reform. Therefore, the states are having to do what, what they feel they need to do, right or wrong, uh, to uh, work through some sort of immigration reform for their for the particular states, Arizona being being the most stringent at this point. But we see what, what the current Arizona law has done. It's continued to erode the economy in Arizona. So they have not helped themselves by passing uh, their immigration laws. Uh, likewise, Oklahoma, who is, we have a great economy here in this state, but why would we want to do something that another state's doing that's running their economy? It does not make sense. Even though Oklahoma City and Tulsa Chambers, have, have, the Chambers of Commerce have come together saying this is an awful idea for Oklahoma to pass uh, immigration, uh, Arizona-style immigration reform, or uh, Arizona plus immigration reform, which, which basically makes it illegal, allows the, the uh, uh, law enforcement people to take the property of anyone who might be determined to be here illegally and anyone who might be transporting them. And also it, it takes away the opportunity for uh, in-state tuition. I mean, we, we have this uh, philosophy that we want all citizens of the, of the state of Oklahoma and all our children uh, to be well-educated. Yet we want to uh, not allow the children of uh, uh, those who are undocumented that to be in the state to have in-state tuition is just wrong. And, and I think we're going about this the wrong way. We have two bills, House Bill and Senate Bill currently. They're working their way through. The titles are off on both bills. So who knows how uh, the language will end up. But uh, they're both bad ideas. We had uh, House Bill 1804 two years ago that uh, put in place some immigration uh, reform in Oklahoma. Some of them good ideas, most of them bad ideas. The courts have struck down a good portion of those because they're unconstitutional. Same thing holds true for the language in this bill. I think it's going to be determined to be unconstitutional. But the biggest problem of all is that the federal government will not do anything to give us real immigration reform. And that's, that's why we're at to, where we're at today. And I, I would hope at some point Oklahoma could, could enact some form of, uh, uh, of a guest worker program. And I know the problem in Utah is saying, look, this, this flies in the face of, of, of federal law. Well, the feds aren't doing anything. You know, they're not enforcing the law. They're not giving us a, 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 a way for immigrant workers to be here legally. The process of being here legally is, is out of the reach of, of certainly anybody my age. It's, my understanding is it takes anywhere from 15 to 30 years to, to go through the program and get here now. They're in there for all intents and purposes, there is no line to stand in to be here legally. That's the biggest problem. And, I mean, we have jobs here that need to be performed uh, by chief, be performed by, uh, by a willing workforce, especially in the ag, ag community and construction community. These jobs, there are not the willing Americans to take these jobs and argue all day long. That's one of the myths that's out there, several myths. Uh, being perpetrated on the public is that uh, the, the illegal, illegal immigrant or undocumented worker are taking jobs for good, from good, hardworking Americans. No, they're not. They're not taking those jobs from them. Those jobs are going begging right now. Uh, the other myth is that the, uh, the undocumented uh, uh, individual here is drawing down on our social programs, going to the emergency room every night, getting treated for things. That's a lie. That's not happening. Um, you know, the other myth is is that the uh, undocumented uh, immigrant is here and engaging in some sort of uh, felonious uh, uh, drug trade or something like that. That is not the case. These are all myths, but with any myth, if it's if it's repeated enough times, it, it begins to take on the aura or begin to appear to be fact, and uh, that is just wrong. Uh, we had a meeting this this week. Uh, over in the House, uh, joint meeting the Senate uh, and, and the House uh, having to do with immigration reform. We heard many viewpoints over there, none of which indicated that we needed any of these bills that are out here right now. 
to, to better the state of Oklahoma. They're all punitive. They have nothing to do with improving the state of Oklahoma and the way we live. And it's, it's just another method of punishing the, uh, the immigrant that's here. And uh, it, I'd feel differently maybe if there was a way for them to be here legally. There is not. That's the bottom line. There, there is no way. And so uh, uh, in view of a, a lack of movement on a federal level, I suppose we'll continue to see uh, different bills come through, not only Oklahoma, probably Texas, Kansas, other uh, surrounding states, but our economy is good here in Oklahoma. We, can, we need the workforce. We need the workforce. We need people paying their taxes. That's the other myth, is that the, the uh, undocumented uh, immigrant worker does not, does not pay taxes. They pay a disproportionate share of taxes, particularly when it comes to Social Security. They pay in, they never get anything out. They usually do not file for any, any sort of income tax return. They pay the maximum rate, don't get anything back. So those are the myths that are associated with, the, with immigration and the need for immigration reform. It's not needed here in Oklahoma. Do you think it's uh, realistic below the years in past? I, I think it is realistic, I, I, but I think the mindset is going to have to change. We're going to have to debunk. This, this, these myths that are out there about the, the uh, undocumented workforce in Oklahoma. They're not working for cash. They're working for companies who are here paying their taxes. They're paying the taxes. They're performing jobs that so-called hard-working Americans are not willing to take. We can't get anybody to pick the vine crops in ag. You know, the, the hard, the tough highway building jobs, road building, bridge building, uh, some segments of construction. Those employees are not out there. They're not coming to us saying, look, we want a job. We don't get those. I mean, and I'm in, 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 in an extended way uh, in the construction industry. We're not getting that hardworking American young person. I mean, for the, for the most part, uh, people my age are not able to do those jobs. I'm not able to work like I used to. I'm not able to, to go out and, uh, and do some of the jobs that are required in the construction trade just because of my age and, and you know, we, we physically deteriorate after a while. The young people are not coming and taking those jobs that I took 40 years ago. They're just not doing it. And especially when it comes to our Social Security, you know, we're, we are uh, actually upside down now in Social Security because we have fewer people paying in Social Security than are drawing out, at least the number of dollars that is coming out of Social Security is less than what's being paid in. Why wouldn't we want a new uh, influx of workers that will pay into Social Security? I mean, it only makes sense, but it's a political issue. It's politically driven because it drives out the boat because the average person does not understand the issue of uh, immigration. And they tend to believe whatever they read, whatever they hear from their neighbor. And when they see someone that they, they don't understand their language, don't understand their culture, uh, the tendency is to just not want them here. Well, we have to change our mindset. You know, this isn't, this isn't the first time this has happened in history, and it won't be the last, but it's what we're dealing with right now, and we need to have a real reform that includes some sort of a, a method for the, the immigrant worker to be here legally and, and contribute to our tax base, to Social Security, and, and be productive citizens. If, uh, would you support any idea, any law like Absolutely. That? Absolutely. I support it. With the mindset right now, though, it's unlikely to get a hearing because many of the people that were elected this last election cycle ran on lower taxes, smaller government, more immigration reform. That's a buzzword out there. It's how you get elected. You know, you say whatever it takes. Many of these guys do, and uh, it, it was uh, it, it was it was a buzzword out there. We want real immigration reform, just like we want real work comp reform. We work on work comp up here darn near every year. But the thing to use, the tool to use to get elected, is work comp reform. We reform work comp. You know, there's always things you can do, but we have reformed work comp. And it's just another one of the one of the issues that drives out the vote. Uh, and, but when you get here and see how things work and understand the economic value of of the people who are here, even ones that are here illegally, uh, and and you know, uh, Senator Shorty wants wants to stand on with the rule of law. You know, we just want people to obey the law. Well, maybe it's time the law changed. If so many people are here and not obeying the law, maybe we may need to revisit those laws. Are you planning to write down any bill like this? And it's too late in the session now for me to introduce, but next year I'd be glad to introduce. But we have to change the mindset. 
of, of the citizens of Oklahoma to, to make them see the benefit of having the immigrant workforce here and, and make sure they understand they're not taking your job. You don't want those jobs anyhow. We want, you know, we want everyone, my kids, I don't want them to do the same jobs I did 40 years ago, 30 years ago, even 20 years ago. I don't want them to do those jobs. I want them to have better jobs that require less physical labor, less physical stress on them, and, and to move into some other areas. And I think that's the same holds true for most parents. And so you have to have, you have to have a workforce for every level. Every station in life, you need the, the entry level jobs just like you need the high paying engineering and, and, and uh, jobs that, that, that pay the most. You can't take out one segment of the workforce. If you do, you're going to ruin your economy. And what about uh, Utah has a driver's license for documented people? Mm -hmm. Do you know that? I didn't know that. I did not, I did not know that. It's a special just. Holding car for mm -hmm. some a form a form of ID, uh, yeah, you know to, that, that they could have and and to allow them to get back and forth uh, uh, from work, allow them to buy insurance. Right now, someone that's here illegally is not going to buy insurance. They probably are going to drive, but why not make it where they can go buy insurance and be here? But this kind of law can. Uh cannot uh, find the federal law in, in a moment. Can the Department of Justice has a... You know what, we pass laws here all the time that get overturned in the courts. Let's give, let the courts take a shot at it. You know, let, them, let them see if that... And, and maybe it would be the catalyst to, to either get the, 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 the federal government off the behinds and get something done or to maybe revisit those laws. Maybe these, these laws are not, are not as uh, pertinent in today's world as they were uh, 40 or 50 years ago. Anything else? That's it, we're just still here fighting, we're not going away. <laughs> <laughs>